Hello, Chris. You just returned back to the pool uh, after three months out, and your kids were excited. You had a very good opening day. Um, can you tell me about the performance levels of your kids? Yeah, so first workout back after th almost exactly three months of no 25-yard um, competitive pool. Um, I found that my athletes uh, showed up, and we had in eight 45-minute sessions, uh, you know, uh, over 80 kids participate in our, in our first practice um, from the junior to the senior level. And I saw four levels of fitness. Um, I'll start from the lowest level of fitness. And that was those that really didn't do anything for these three months, um, didn't take part in, in any of our dry land uh, workouts that we offered through the club. You know, maybe one, whether it was because of school or because of timing, they just chose to not participate. Funny thing, as soon as we get back to the pool, they're like, oh, I can go. And uh, so th they were really out of shape. I, I mean, I saw after our first 200 yards, one of them stopped and said, oh, this is going to be tough. Um, so they were in, in just really not in very good condition. Um, the second level of athlete that I had, kind of the second tier, is those that chose to participate on the, the, the two or three workouts per week. And I'd say they were consistent with two or three dry land practices. And our themes were, of the three per week, were one of those Zoom practices was kind of a um, cardio workout where there was a lot of cardio, dry land, everyone from home on a Zoom platform. Uh, the second one of the week was more strength, body weight. And the third was kind of a hybrid of a little bit of a cardio a mixed with a, a strength. Even we used some, um, we had them use small weights if they had them or water bottles full of water. So those athletes, you could tell that they were, you could see their fitness was maintained as far as their musculature, but their cardio in the water was certainly um, compromised. But they were better than the kids that did nothing. Uh, the, the next level was those that have really gone all in and have chosen to either try to find a backyard pool or we've been promoting open water swimming, uh, mostly at Walden Pond, which is a local, uh, very famous uh, open water pond in our area. We also have uh, uh, Stiles Pond, um, Winchester Pond, and the ocean, which is, well, from where I am right now, it's, it's just in my backyard. Um, so those athletes, uh, in, in, along with the Zoom workouts, they were in pretty good shape. I mean, certainly better than, uh, than, than what you'd think after three months. But I would say the top tier, uh, fortunately, um, as in the photograph, many of my athletes know and are um, very familiar with, uh, with Katsu, Katsu Training, and Katsu Aqua. And they are skilled enough through my training and through my guidance from Stephen here uh, on how to use at home. Um, and they've been, in addition to the Zoom workouts, they've been doing daily. We have a one hour practice with our instructor, um, Laurel, who has taken them to the next level. And they've been doing probably for about two months, an additional workout, uh, not only on land with the Katsu Aqua Bands, but in the water, backyard pools, and in the pond, we've done some pond swimming with the Katsu Aqua Bands on. Uh, they, they, they actually, I knew they would be in, in good shape, but I actually, I, I, I really would put my 30 year coaching career that I think they're in better shape than they've ever been. Wow. Because I think it's been so regimented and they've been so concerned about what their fitness level will be back when they come back, that they're actually in better shape. Um, you know, if they were to do something for time, I don't think they would go a best time. But what I think is I think they have easily set themselves up so that once we get back into some championship meets or just some swim meets uh, in general, I think they're going to, I, I won't be surprised because I'm going to predict it right now, but I think they will surprise themselves a little bit. But I know they will surpri surprise their teammates and competitors. They're going to be like, what'd you do? What, how, how'd you do that? And I think it's that perfect um, that perfect sort of formula of the katsu, the dry land, the open water swimming, the backyard. That, and, and it's not just one athlete. I have at least 12 athletes who have used uh, 
three to four of those um, uh, things we just talked about to put themselves in this ready to perform kind of top tier fitness. Wow. Well, thank you very much, Chris. That's much appreciated. Good luck to you and your athletes. Yes, no problem.